Hello Smite fans, this is Jeff from Studio 41 Gaming. I'm going to show you how to play the god Giannis. And I'm pretty sure it's Giannis, not Janus. So, just get that out of your head now. Um, for, first, let's go over the items I've got in my god build. Uh, we start off with the Shoes of the Magi here. 45 magical power, ma uh, plus 10 magical penetration, movement speed. Um, then we have Obsidian Shard, a uh, good magical power boost, and then some mag magical penetration, which is very nice. Um, Bane Cross Talon is next, which is a bunch of magical power and some magical life steal. And then you get some magical power per 1% of your missing health. So when if you're at like half health, your abilities will start hitting 50% harder. Or not really, <laughs> be another 50 magical power. Don't want to get your hopes up. Then next we have Rod of Tahuti. Um, basically, you know, this is God magical power. A whole ton. And getting it pretty early in this build. Uh, next is the Almighty Soul Reaver. Um, basically, whenever a God takes damage from one of your abilities, they take an extra 15% of their maximum health in additional damage and basically on tanks that will hit ridiculous like just absolutely insane how hard that will hit or how hard that will proc off one of your abilities and then last we have Kronos' Pendant which is magical power mana per second and then some cooldown reduction if you could get it <laughs> I've gotten it I think once so it's a pretty this is a pretty expensive build here um, but basically, there's a reason for that, and that's, uh, Giannis does not, he, you're more than not, uh, more than likely not going to get a whole ton of kills with him. Uh, just the nature of the game, because his abilities are single hit, that sing you want that single hit to do as much damage as humanly possible. That'll give you your best chance for kills, but it's still, it's your best chance, but not necessarily... Um, super helpful. <laughs> uh, and then abilities, as I would just leave them as they are. Um, the God Builder is perfectly fine, I believe. The default one. But, let's look at his abilities real quick. Uh, his passive is once he goes through a portal or over a threshold. That's this and this. Um, he gains uh, magic scaling which I believe makes them, I mean, it'll do more damage. <laughs> um, I do believe that is what that means. I'm not 100% sure, but that's, I'm pretty sure it means it'll scale more damage. Um, then his trademark is Portal. Um, he can set it on the ground and enemy gods and your teammates can fall in it. And they get banished, which means I do believe that they cannot take any damage at all. They can bead out of it though, but that's kind of a waste of beads, honestly. Unless they're like low on health, of course. But if you put it on a wall, you and your teammates can go through it. And that's what sets off the uh, passages passive. And then his next ability is your best chance of probably, probably your best chance of getting kills is Unstable Vortex. Um, these... These boys hit freaking hard uh, once you get Rav Tahuti and uh, Soul Reaver, especially if you get Soul Reaver. You will nuke with that with this bad boy. And the only problem with these things is that um, the, the way they move, you'll see that in the gameplay. And they can be a bit annoying. They are very good for killing, for killing minions, though. And then we have Threshold. Um, it's a passive that... Uh, anytime you go through a portal, um, you get you go faster, basically. And then his active is that uh, en enemies who pass through this are slowed by a lot. They actually just retooled it today. Um, it slows them by 25%. And then they will enemies will take additional magical scaling damage. Uh, if they get hit by a Janus ability, 
Giannis God ability by uh, right after they pass through it. And then his uh, ultimate is through time and space, which is a snipe. Um, basically, it freaking it goes across the entire arena map. Don't ask me about the conquest map, but it goes through the entire arena map, and the farther enemies are away from it, they will take more damage. So, obviously, if you snipe someone from across the map, they're going to get hit freaking hard. And God help them if they get uh, hit by this in Soul Reaver Prox. But, that's Giannis' abilities and my God Builder build, so let's see how you play this guy. Alright, so I believe the biggest key with Giannis is simply stay alive and you'll be fine. Um, as as all as with all mages, he doesn't have much in the way of defense. His only getaway basically is his portal, just to send himself through it. Um, pray to God that the enemy that's trying to kill him runs off, or somebody realizes that you're getting attacked and comes over to peel. But with Giannis, you also have the most troll ability in this game with your portal. <laughs> Um, if you see a tank running in, throw that bad boy down, they fall through it, they probably are going to turn tail and run off. Um, with that being said, you can also CC the living crap out of enemies with it. Uh, you can basically engage, get, you have permission to basically engage. If you can get a good portal off and like two people fall through it, then your tank or warrior or someone will go in and uh, pull them and CC them even more. And then the best thing to do with sending someone through a portal is to use your unstable portals on them because you basically have a lined up shot to hit them with it because you know where they're going to be unless they beat out of it, which would be a bad idea usually for them. So you send them through the portal, hit them with the unstable portals. They take two hits basically in the span of one second, so you can get some good damage off of that. Um... And then throw down threshold if they're if you're chasing someone, then you can drop a portal on them or hit them with unstable portals as well. That'll make them take even more damage. Um, basically, though, Giannis's strategy is very simple. I mean, you're not going to get too many kills with him. It's just how he rolls, unless you start hitting people that are freaking uh, running away with your portals and sniping the crap out of people. But Giannis is pretty straightforward. Um, you're basically just don't die, throw down portals on enemies that are or tanks or warriors that are going to try and engage. Um, you can peel for your teammates if they're getting attacked. You can drop a portal, either them and or the enemy will get sent through it. Usually the usually try and get the enemy because. Then they have a chance to turn and turn around and attack more while they're on the defense and you're hitting them with your unstable portals. Um, Giannis' Giannis, Giannis snipe is kind of annoying. Um, it has a charge up from after you actually tell it to activate, so timing can be a bit of a pain on it. But if you're far enough away and hit somebody with it, they're taking a lot of damage. And like I said... If Soul Reaver Prox, good freaking luck living through it. It will hit so hard. But Giannis, solid, he has solid damage ability. Just don't expect too many kills. It's an unfortunate side effect and why probably not very many people play him. But he has definite solid damage capabilities uh, with this build and executing him right. So thanks for watching and hopefully we'll be seeing more Giannis's out there.